Hello, brothers and sisters. I listened to Mr. Leon R. Walker this morning, who provides an honest and direct account of narcissistic behaviors, as he is a diagnosed narcissist. He is available on YouTube should you wish to learn from him. I felt led to leave a comment on one of his videos entitled Narcissistic People Fear the Good and Spiritual People. I also wish to share the comment I left on his channel, although I have worded it slightly different here and I am simply providing my opinion from an objective point of view as I am not a counsellor. From listening to various self-aware diagnosed narcissists, it is clear to me where the narcissistic behaviours originate, and in those from troubled childhood backgrounds where there were no parents available to meet their needs, the experience of rejection, abandonment and pain would have been too difficult to deal with, as how could one deal with this in early childhood? The child who defaults to narcissistic behaviours is doing so to protect themselves from experiencing further hurt and develops a manipulative approach when forming relationships. They would rather do this than to experience real emotions as this would require them to open themselves up to experiencing real love or rejection and by doing this the idea of possibly being rejected or abandoned again will cause severe pain to the inner child that they are protecting. This is the emotion that they are running from, rejection, abandonment and pain. It is an emotion that is too difficult for them to face when in fact when we face all emotions with self-reflection, we are able to equip ourselves to deal with the reality of life's challenges in a more balanced way. Thenceforth, developing an understanding that life is not a bed of roses, but that it comes with challenges, and that when we face these challenges and work through them, we develop nurturing skills towards each other while establishing healthy boundaries. Remember that narcissism is learned behavior. Therefore, it can be reversed through self-reflection and therapy. There is hope for everyone. 2 Timothy chapter 3 states, and this is from the King James Version, This know also, that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. From such turn away, for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. God bless.